Hey, what's up, everybody? It's BDF44 coming at you another video. So I have been paying attention to uh, the word around town, uh, and the Lakers are talking about extending Frank Vogel, uh, his contract to some degree. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to go about doing that, but um, I, I'm, I'm for it. I don't have any problem with that. Um, I think Frank Vogel is in a, a very advantageous position because, of course, he's coaching. Um in a coach's dream, basically, he's playing. He's coaching the Los Angeles Lakers during a championship caliber era, uh, having already won one championship. Well, on his way to possibly winning another one some point in time, whether it be this season or next, the Lakers are in position to get another championship for sure, maybe even more than that. And uh, you're looking at a guy like Frank Vogel, who's brought a stability uh, from a defensive standpoint, uh, a guy who has helped um, create a culture of winning. Uh, coupled with, of course, our phenomenal um, front office giving us a roster that that is winning, uh, that is capable of winning, to say the least. And uh, I think he's he's pressed the right buttons most of the time. You know, some people have said, oh, he doesn't do this right, that right, maybe a few things, but it doesn't really matter because um, of of the talent that he has in his possession. So even if he's making certain mistakes, um, LeBron and the AD are going to cancel those mistakes out with their sheer greatness. So um, he's, a, he's 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 living on cloud nine. I don't think too many coaches in this league would fail in this situation. Uh, not too many coaches, period, would ruin uh, what what LeBron and AD have going on. They don't really need a coach, to be honest with you. But what I can say is that Frank Vogel brings defense to the table, and quite frankly, we're one of the best defensive teams in the league, and have been for the last two years, and I think he has a great deal to do with that. I've seen LeBron James-led teams. They're not great defensively, uh, historically. Uh, Anthony Davis-led teams, he's a fantastic defender, but the teams aren't always defensive, uh, defensively uh, put together. So for us to be a fantastic defensive team, uh, led by Anthony Davis and LeBron James, uh, I think that's a lot of that credit does go to Frank Vogel and his coaching staff for putting together uh, just the right type of uh, program for our team and our guys to follow defensively. So um, I'm very happy with Frank Vogel. Um, I'm glad this has gone a lot better than we anticipated because, of course, the word around town when Frank was first hired was he's just a, guy, a fall guy for when the Lakers don't live up to the expectations. They can fire him and bring in Jason Kidd, of whom everybody believes should be the real coach of the Lakers, but since Frank Vogel has stepped in, he and the coaching staff have put to bed any and all uh, of those speculations uh, in regards to Jason Kidd looming, you know what I mean, and Frank Vogel not being up for the task. They have put all that aside and have put together a situation uh, where everybody can succeed. Everybody's legacy looks better for being a part of this thing, and they got championships to show for it, a championship to show for it, possibly another, so... Um, I, I couldn't be more happy with the coaching staff. I think everybody there should be extended. I'm, I'm very pleased with everything that we got going on. Um, you know, now it's just about keeping, you know, everything balanced and stable. Uh, so uh, we've come a super long way, and uh, we, we've got a good coach in, on our hands. And, um, you know, I look forward to seeing what type of deal we give him. Of course, with the coaches, it's not the same as players. You know, you can give coaches whatever you want. It's not going to count against the cap. And uh, it's not going to hinder you, um, be a hindrance from you getting players or anything like that. So that's very good. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I got to say, man. It's not a whole lot to add. Frank Vogel was a coach that I wanted ahead of Ty Lue. He was a coach I had ahead of the other candidate as well. Um, and I think everybody landed where they were supposed to go. Frank Vogel's come to the Lakers, obviously won. Um, Ty Lue went to the Clippers. They're in a good spot right now. He looks like he's going to be their coach for a very long time. And, of course, uh, Monty Williams was the person that I was thinking about as well who went on to Phoenix, and Phoenix is a fantastic team this year. So everybody's situation is better uh, after after that ended, after that whole situation went down. Everybody went to where they were supposed to go and should be very happy where they are. So all in all, man, I can't say that I have a lot to complain about as a Laker fan. Um, you know, this is a good time to be, be uh, one of us. And... Uh, now that our guys are coming back healthy, now we're just going to push for the finish line. Hopefully we can stay healthy um, from here and let the rest be history. Anyway, wasn't a whole lot to say in this situation. Frank Vogel's going to be staying. I think that's a good thing. My name is BDF44. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.